Hey guys, welcome to this video on the Master Theorem. So here we want to prove that t of n, which is equal to t of n divided by 2 plus theta of n, belongs to theta of n. And we want to do this by using the Master Theorem. So I have the Master Theorem here in the purple rectangle, and it states that if t of n is equal to or is in the form of a times t of n divided by b plus theta of n to the power of d, where a is greater than zero, b is greater than one, and d is greater than or equal to zero, then our function t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of d if d is greater than log base b of a. Our function t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of d times log n if d is equal to log base b of a. And our function t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of log base b of a if d is less than log base b of a. All right. So first, let's try to um, rewrite our equation. So we have t of n is equal to t of n divided by 2 plus theta of n. So let's uh, rewrite this again to make it look like the form that we see in the master theorem. So this is equal to 1 times t of n divided by 2 plus theta of n to the power of 1. I'm going to rewrite this here. Okay, n to the power of 1. Okay, and now we can easily see our a variable. So a is there, so a is equal to 1. We can see b right there, so b is equal to 2. And we can see our d right there, so our d is equal to 1. So now we need to figure out what log base b of a is, so we can know which case to use here. So log base b of a is equal to log base 2 of 1. And what does that equal? Well, that's just 0, because 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And our d is equal to 1. So um, we need to check our condition, which is uh, log base b of a is some condition of d, right? So it's either uh, less than, uh, greater than, or equal to. And our log base b of a is equal to 0. And our d is equal to 1. So 0 is less than 1. So the um, condition that we use here is here, this top one here. So actually, I wrote it backwards. Um, well, not really backwards. I just uh, had the d on the right-hand side and log base b of a on the left-hand side. But if I rewrite it like that, we get d greater than log base b of a, and our d is equal to 1, and 1 is still greater than 0. So all I did is just switch the size. I just want to make it very obvious of uh, what I did there. So now that we know which case to use, which is case 1, then that means that our t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of d. So t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of d. And what does uh, this equal? Well, this equals big theta of n to the power of 1, or just theta of n. So therefore, our function t of n belongs to big theta of n. And so that's basically it. We've just proven um, that the function t of n, is, which is equal to t of n divided by 2 plus theta of n, belongs to big theta of n by using the master theorem. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Uh, leave likes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And I'll be sure to put some more um, examples here in the description link below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.